It's okay. I got this. Hi guys. So I'm just going to make a little tutorial about how to do Hollywood waves. Um, this is my very first video period and I am very very nervous and hopefully you guys can't see it in the video um, but anyways just the other day I posted up um, and on my Instagram story a video of myself in Hollywood waves and surprisingly so many people got back to me and asked me how I achieved the look or what did I use to achieve the look and instead of just explaining to you guys I'm just going to demonstrate and hopefully the way I portray it in this video you guys can understand and comprehend what I'm doing so let's get started um, so the utilities that you're gonna need to achieve this look will be first of all a curling iron um, mine's just from Mark and it's just a really simple, it's a very thin one um, because I have medium length hair whereas if you have thick and long hair I would suggest to go for a larger sized um, curling iron you're gonna need a hairbrush, you're gonna need hair gel or hair wax I use Gatsby, I bought it from Japan, I'm not sure where you can get it in Australia um, but any will do really you need a butterfly clip, uh, bobby pins, any type of bobby pins and a toothbrush. Now with the toothbrush you're going to need one that is has straight bristles um, so there's no dints and coves within the brush. Yep and that's all. Oh, oh. Now shall we get started? <laughs> so what I started off with washing my hair and blow drying my hair and I made sure that towards the end that there are, there's no frizziness only because when you curl your hair you don't want the frizziness to be there so I made sure that all of that is down and gone and yeah so first of all you just section the back of your hair and you just get the first layer really not too much and you pin it up like that with your butterfly clip and you grab your sections of the hair and you just brush it out so that there's no knots within the hair like so and now every curl is going to go in a certain direction so because I'm gonna want my fringe on this side exactly where it's parted I'm going to curl my hair Instead of going outwards, I'm going to go inwards, like so. Now, I'm not going to go all the way in to my roots. I'm just going to do them very loose at the back, just like so. And I just squeeze it for five seconds or so, and then I'll let it go, just so I get that tiny bit of curl. And now we're going to do the exact same thing. So now because the curl is going this way, we're going to ensure that this strand also goes the same direction. Like so. And now we're going to continue doing that um, until the third section. Okay, now when we are at this section, what we're gonna do is we're at the middle of your ears, you're just gonna grab the hair that you're gonna use for the front area of your hair, which is your fringe and your side fringes or sideburns, whatever it's called, and just gonna brush it and you're gonna put it aside so you don't touch that part until the very last part. This 
this is the most crucial part. <laughs> Anyways, a little bit crazy now. Again, I'm going to section the hair and whatever straight ends I have left, I'm just going to coat with. nicely and evenly and again we're just going to continue with the curls but this time it's a little bit different so again we're going into the curls but we're going to go closer to the roots because we want those curls to be nice and tight and now as I let go of the curl I let it go into the placement of my hand I grab the curl and I roll it inwards like so and then with the bobby pin I clip it in and just to be sure I'm going to secure it with another bobby pin have had like a little ring in your hair like so. and you're going to continue doing that with the rest of the fridge because you're gonna look beautiful afterwards and at this point I just look for any other straight ends or if I feel like it's not curly enough I just go past and I just curl them as well and when that's done we wait and in about 10 minutes I'll be right back with you Okay, now that it's been 10 minutes, we're just going to take out the bobby pins and the curls. Should I just leave it like this? I feel like Beyonce. <laughs> Asian Beyonce. Okay. Now at this point, we are going to find our parting. So I like to part my hair on my right side and instead of just having like a straight part, I go for a curve, kind of like a C. Um, so I kind of just, with my finger and my nail, I just kind of choose my parting and see how it's kind of like a C? That's how I do my parting. And we're gonna want this hair here to like give us a nice oomph and that's what we're looking for and with your hairbrush just gonna brush out your curls and now with this part of my hair I like to tuck it behind my ear so with the hair wax or hair gel whatever you have I get the toothbrush and I put a little bit on and I just brush it so that it stays behind the ear and all the frizziness from my previous uh, from the curl goes down and it just magically stays in place that side and I do the same on this side so I just brush it so it's a little bit 
non frizzy and then I just grab a little bit of the section and to get that extra oomph I I tease it with the toothbrush so instead of going outwards brushing it like that I brush it inwards that way when I flip the hair over I've got this little curve or wave whatever it's called and instead of making it look like kind of a bird's nest I just with again with the gel I just brush it out like so and then I'll hold my fringe there as I continue brushing the rest of my hair again just so I don't lose, lose my little oomph <laughs> Hopefully the way I um, explained it and portrayed it to you guys, you guys completely understand it. Um, the look is just so elegant, you can use Hollywood waves for events, for your birthday, for a wedding. It's just, you chuck on a red lippy and you just put on some earrings and you just feel like you belong on the red carpet really. And it's so easy to achieve. And yeah, if you guys have any further inquiries or questions, please let me know. Or if you have any suggestions for more videos, that would be great. Um, and I hope you guys didn't know, <laughs> realize that I was literally sweating because I was so nervous. I feel so awkward in front of a camera. Um, I've tried so many times to make videos and when it comes to uploading it, I just don't end up uploading it. Just I'm so shy. So yeah, if there's any feedback, please let me know. I would love to hear it and hopefully improve my recording skills. Um, like the fact that I say um, like 24 seven. Yeah. Final. <laughs> Hope you guys like the video.